Hello everyone, Treex here, and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. Welcome back to Spyro Reignited Trilogy. We've been making quite some progress already in this game. The first game is um, making quite the progress. But we are of course still not done yet. Hub World 3 is actually where we are now, and I did not ask you to save my game, stupid fairy. <laughs> Um, anyway, we actually finished off at High Caves last time. But that is of course not the final stage in this world. We are going to move on. And of course we are going to move on with a uh, supercharged ramp. <laughs> we are going to enter Crystal Flight. It is time to start flying again. Spyro needs to spread his wings. And we are going to do that once again. There's an achievement present here, which is similar to the previous one. Actually hitting all of the directional fairies. And I should remember where they actually are in this stage, so... Allow me to actually go for that first. I'm trying to combine it with also uh, clearing the stage. That is usually too much to ask, so... <laughs> I think I'll just focus on the fairies first. The first one's actually really obvious, right over here at the first gate. That one you don't even have to start looking for. Also, be a second one. Pretty sure there's only two of them in this stage, so should be able to get this done quickly. Should also be at the gate area. After this one, get this narrow section, and then want to head right a bit, and then we can find her. <laughs> Rare Chivo, Hot Wings 2, Flame All the Direction Fairies in Crystal Flight. And now that we're still here, might as well also try to get the mission itself, but I missed the chest. <laughs> okay, never mind. This is not going to work out. Might as well also go for these uh, plane dudes first. <laughs> oh, what am I doing here? Doing things out of order is usually not a good idea in these uh, speedway levels. Okay, more planes. All of the moving objects in these speedways are always the ones I actually uh, struggle the most with. Those can be the most difficult to actually plan in your route, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Even though they usually do fly around in the same area. In the case of these guys flying. Let's go for the rings now. I'm going to give you one second, so... There's the first one. Let's go through the gates now. Still 15 seconds, so we should be on schedule. Despite me actually uh, going erratically in the beginning. <laughs> Six. Oh, here's the final plane. Nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> Don't have to go start looking for you. Saves me a lot of trouble. And there we go. Okay. Well, um, this is also a way you can do it, people. <laughs> Go me for actually improvising. Yeah, I've proven more often that uh, that is something I can do pretty well, improvising. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was Crystal Flight. We can scratch that off our to-do list as well. Get all of the treasure in the stage because of doing all of the objects and the all-in-one. Bring our total to 4,600. Still not even at the halfway point when it comes to gems. Because remember, the very first episode, in the first cutscene, we were told there's 12,000 treasure in the Dragon Worlds. Therefore saying, we're not even halfway there. We still have plenty of work to do. Let's continue with that. As you may know, there's also a stage still present in this final room. Peacekeeper's world. This time around we are going to move on to Wizard Peak. There's plenty of wizards already in all of these stages. But this seems to be their home. <laughs> Let's enter Wizard Peak. The final true stage here in Peacekeepers. Because only the boss remains after this. And if we're quick enough we should also be able to do that today. For another three-stage episode. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, boss stages and speedway stages tend to be a little bit shorter, so... If you can combine that with one regular stage, three stages in an episode is possible. <laughs> Let's begin by going in here first. There's also a pathway leading uh, to the side, but, but I'd first like to get a couple of gems in here. There's another blue gem. Allow me. As you can see, even though this is a little bit hidden, there is a uh, side pathway. All the way at the beginning already. <laughs> Leading towards the outside areas. And of course also required to go here in order to get everything. Multiple trips I actually need to take from here in order to get everything. So might as well get started with the first one already. <laughs> this whirlwind will actually bring us to the top of these buildings. That's indeed where we need to go. That pathway we're going to do next time. <laughs> First we're going to go over here. You can see all of the buildings we would normally go through on the lower areas. We can actually go over this way. A couple of gems here, but that's not everything. No, nothing here. Just a couple of sheep. But since we're full health, not interested in the fodder. <laughs> Where it is actually. Because there is a platform we need to jump to at some point. It should be this one. Yeah, indeed. There's an ice mage here, but we don't care about him. <laughs> As you can see, we actually end up in a higher ledge. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> but as you can see, we actually end up at the higher ledge in the inner areas. Okay, good to note. You can actually get hit even though you're on the lower ledge. <laughs> and I'm already out of health. <laughs> I think I need to start playing more carefully now. <laughs> oh. This game suddenly turned a little bit harder, it looks like. <laughs> hey, don't you electrify me, Phoebe. <laughs> oh, Final Fantasy IX. Why are you entering a Spyro game? <laughs> yeah, I really think these uh, Thunder Mages look like Fifi for some reason. <laughs> Sorry for all of you uh, Final Fantasy fans. I really think they do. <laughs> but anyway, as you might have seen, we actually met up with another higher ledge. In the second room over there. So, indeed, you've guessed correctly. We need to get up here again. Only this time we're going to take that other pathway that I ignored before. From there, we can actually jump to the other higher ledge. And yes, this is the only way to actually get up there. The Sparks has also returned, so... <laughs> Even though it's a little bit hard to see, but you can actually use the map for reference. That little uh, peninsula you see on the map. That's indeed the platform we're aiming for. And we can only get there from here. <laughs> so, with that done, we can actually move on. Let's kill all these Fifis. <laughs> and we find the first dragon of this stage. Of course, these guys are also still here. Jarvis. Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Interesting wings you have there, sir. <laughs> but we have the return of the supercharged ramps. Also appears in this stage, so you can imagine there's a couple of things we need to do with it. First, we're going to take care of all these uh, loose ends, of course. <laughs> Supercharge doesn't really allow us to focus on gems, if you know what I mean. <laughs> See where this can bring us. Of these ice wizards. And here's the first thing we need to do. Look all the way in the distance. Island. Too far to jump. At least too far to jump normally. <laughs> We're going to make use of the supercharged jump once again. This time in order to reach this island. Here we are. 
boo and take note on the laughter you're hearing in the background. <laughs> You can hear an egg thief. And this guy is actually hiding behind here. <laughs> He's so well hidden, the game even considers it an achievement. Defeat the hidden egg thief here in Wizard Peak. And our way back is actually that platform over there. Because there's nothing else we can jump to. <laughs> but this we can barely reach if we actually glide there. Oh, and there's another one. But he's officially on the pathway towards the end of the stage, so we're going to pick him up next time. <laughs> First we're going to go back, because of course we actually um, appeared at a little bit of a later part of the stage. So we're first going to backtrack a bit. In order to rescue Hexus, for instance. Well done, Spyro. Thank you for releasing me. No advice. Okay, in that case we're done with you quickly. This should also be um, the supercharged jump, if I remember correctly. Let's first get all of the gems in here, and... Yeah, indeed, that's another island in the distance. <laughs> and in the Spyro game, island in the distance. Oh, there's also a reinforced chest here. did not remember you, but... Uh, <laughs> luckily I saw you in time, so I can also take care of you. But like I was trying to say, the island in the distance in a Spyro game means... Supercharge jump! <laughs> so awesome to do. Oh, stupid camera, come on. There we go. There's another pathway behind the wall here. This time no sneakily egg thief. <laughs> but we do have a couple of gems, so still going back there. Careful not to charge off the ramp here. I'm never going for these uh, metal chests. Four twenty-four. Now to return to the pathway leading towards the end. There's still an active there, of course. <laughs> Two gems. Let's quickly take care of the druids, so we have all the room in the world. And this is another one of these egg thieves that actually uh, runs around the pool of water. <laughs> we know how to take care of these guys by now. <laughs> Do be careful, because you can actually uh, also um, fall in the water quite easily. So Make sure to take an eye out for your health. Uh, we should be able to actually... Finish off everything in here. Pretty sure I've missed a single one this time around, so. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, sir! <laughs> Even though he did hit me, I didn't have to kill that druid myself. <laughs> and there we go, 500 gems. And the final dragon is also here Lucas. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's home world? Waterfall. Sounds good. Interesting that the hint actually gets given here. Artisan's home world is two worlds ago. Come on. <laughs> but we already did the speedway stage there. I, of course, already took care of that stone secret in the first episode. <laughs> But in case you didn't find it yet, uh, this part in the game apparently gives a hint about it. <laughs> but it is something we found a while ago, so I don't have to care about that. What I am going to care about is the boss stage of this world, because we have 17 minutes in the video, but I'm going to cut some failed attempts in the speedway. So I think we are good to actually also go for the boss stage in this episode. Like I promised. <laughs> it's indeed going to happen. Let's not waste too much time, because um, I'm not really too sure where we are time-wise, so... Let's also get the one up in the meantime, because I can see we're close to getting one. There we go. That makes 30. Now, let's make sure we actually heal up, because I can see Sparks is green, so... <laughs> let's first get some fodder, so Sparks gets a beautiful yellow color back. And we can enter Blowhard. 
And I've been making uh, some jokes about Blowhard in Mario Party 3. So I think I'm going to withheld on doing it here. <laughs> this is indeed also a game that makes that reference. <laughs> but Blowhard is actually another pretty interesting boss. Of course, based on the theming we've been dealing with this whole time during this world. Let's take a look at him. First we need to reach him, of course. There's uh, also a regular stage attached here. There should be a skill point present here where we need to defeat him. No, wait. This boss has something different. Okay. I'm still going to do him uh, no damage, of course, if I can. <laughs> but even the achievement is actually not no damage. So this is apparently the only boss in the game you don't have to defeat no damage. Interesting. Both the skill point and the achievement are something different, so... But more on that uh, the moment we actually uh, meet them both. For the skill point we need to ride the druid platform, which is really easy to do. <laughs> but first we need to find one. Oh, we can already see him hovering in the air over there. The ultimate airbender. <laughs> Yeah, and it didn't miss a thing, so let's go beat this uh, bearded airbender. <laughs> uh, where did he go? That's too high to jump, so... Oh, this uh, part opened up. There we need to go. And it's also where we find the druid platforms, so we can also take care of the skill point here. As you can see, these guys actually move up these platforms. And if we stand on them... And remain standing there. Normally you're tempted to move on and kill these guys. But this time around we don't want to do that. <laughs> because skill points. And we unlock the first art gallery. And that is indeed what it does. But we'll be taking a look at that later if you don't mind. <laughs> Altair. We're going to rescue first. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in Crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. Yes, yeah, Spyro also seems to be realizing by this point that the moment he meets an old dragon, you don't want to listen to those guys for too long. <laughs> More of these druid platforms. These ones actually uh, moving laterally. We only have to write them once, so <laughs> at least for 10 seconds. We still need to write them, of course, because we need them in order to platform. And this is still 3D platformer, after all. Um. Yeah, there he is. So we need to do this first. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Always love that sound. <laughs> but here's another one. 307. And the second time we're going to meet Blowhard. Our little airbender. <laughs> there you go. That's the second hit. And there should be one more. He's leaving for the final part, so we're going to do the same. Let's get this yellow gem from the fireworks crate. In the meantime, get these blue ones. There you are. This time we have an icy stage, so be careful for slipping. But the best part is, you actually don't have to wait for him to get lower, because you can also reach him from there. <laughs> Just jump and use flame in mid-air. You can easily get him. Bring us to 398, and the final two being in this chest over here. 400. And that's indeed also the achievement already. Just collect all of the gems. <laughs> Interesting how this is actually the only boss... Where you don't have to do him no damage. And yes, I include the other Spyro games in the Reignited Trilogy in that as well. Even though I did not play the third game yet, I do remember actually seeing all of the achievements there. And I think the bosses there also want you to do no damage at some point. I know uh, all of the bosses in Spyro 2 also have a no damage achievement. But in this game, apparently not. Not for Blowhard. <laughs> It's not even a skill point here. But anyway, in the meantime, we did take care of Peacekeepers entirely. 
Now that hub world is done. So next time we can continue with hub world number four. Thank you for watching and Dreeks out.